Hello everybody. I am Asadis Zaman Biswas. I came now to discuss about few JavaScript events. Today I will discuss about these two events. One is on select, another one is your on change. Okay. So let us do it with example. So uh, what I will have to do script okay then this is your language our language is javascript okay fine now we will terminate this script let us make a form first and give it a name okay name of it is frm or whatever you like this is the starting of form and this is the end of form right so inside this form, I like to make a text box. Okay, that's why I write here text and give it a name, uh, whatever you like. I'll give a short name. Suppose its name is X. Okay, so this is the end. Now here, I like to use this event on select. When this event will occur, then suppose uh, what should be the name? We can give this name SEL. This is the name of the function. This function will be called, right? So what we like to do, if we select the text of the text box, then I like to display the text that I or user wrote inside the text box will be displayed. So one thing I can do, I will take a div here, okay, and I will give it uh, ID uh, suppose MSG, and I also like to give it name that is your that is also MSG, okay, okay, fine. Oh uh, no, its name is MSG, that should be within quotation. So, cut and paste. This is your div, starting of div, and this is your end of div. Now, let us define the function that is your SEL. So, I will write here function SEL. This is the starting of function, and this is the end of function, right? So what we will do, whatever we will write inside the text box. Okay, let us store it inside the variables. Okay, so we will give its name txt inside document, means inside this page. There is a form, its name is frm, and it contains a text box, its name is x. And input of this text box means value. Okay, that is stored inside txt. Now, what we like to do, we like to display it on our div. So, what is, uh, well, what do we do now? Document dot get element by id. Our name of element is msg. Okay, now here dot inner html. That means Inner HTML means the div will contain what txt that means whatever inside this variable that will be displayed on div. So let us check the output. It works fine or not. So I will go to here inside this text box. Suppose what we should write we are learning something this I wrote. Now, if I select here, what I am getting though? You got the text, we are learning, right? That means when I select it, at that time, we got this text. Again, I am showing you here, look. When I am selecting this text, I am getting it, uh, getting the same text inside the text box, below the text box. The below the text box because we make the div just below the text box, that's why the text is coming uh, just below the text box, okay? And this is your on select event. Now comes your on change, so let us do one thing. Let us 
copy the text box and paste it okay give this name of text box suppose y and give the name of the function that is cell one okay so let us define now the function that is function uh, cell one okay great so what we will do and we also have to change the event here it will be on change C H A N G E on change okay so when this event will occur then what will happen let us take the content of the text box inside a variable suppose name of the variable is txt and we like to take the content of the text box that is y inside this variable so we we'll write this line okay now what we like to do we can do one thing we can take another div we can take another div let us take it just uh, above the form okay so i will copy it and i will paste it here great give its name msg1 suppose or whatever you like now i will write what i will write document dot get element by id the name of the element is msg1 okay great now give that then comes your inner html so this div will contain whatever inside this variable okay now let us go to the output and check the result i will save it okay fine let us write down something i am teaching or something i like here and after writing this if i click outside the text box look you are getting the text that you wrote inside the text box just below the just above the text box because here you here we made the div that's why the text of the text box is coming just above the text boxes right so uh, this event is known as basically the on change event in case of text box if we click outside the text box then uh, this is your on change event so so here we learn these two those two events one is your on select another one is your on change for text boxes so um, after this today I will come again with few more discussions about JavaScript, JavaScript events and so many things. So up to this today, goodbye everybody.